Today's episode is gonna be really fun because we are headed to Las Vegas, Nevada. We are here to celebrate my cousin's birthday and there was no way that we were going to Las Vegas without visiting one of my other favorite YouTubers. So Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas is going to be showing us around her town and taking us to all of her favorite thrift spots. Hi everybody, I am here in Las Vegas with Thrifting Vegas. This is Tiffany. Hello, hello. I'm so happy to meet Laura. We're going to have so much fun today. She's going to take me around Vegas and show me all the good spots. So I'm super grateful that you're sharing your secrets with me and with everyone. I'm so happy that we met up and we were able to thrift together. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a wonderful day. We're going to take you along with us and we're going to go see what Vegas has to offer. We're here at the very first stop for today. It is an animal boutique shop called Hearts Alive Vintage and they do a lot of good here in the Las Vegas community with animals. For those of you who do not know Tiffany, you should. She has a channel here on YouTube called Thrifting Vegas, and she will take you to all the thrift stores in the Las Vegas area and show you what kind of treasures you can find here. I was so happy when she said yes to taking me out thrifting. I am absolutely honored to spend the day with her, and I know we are going to have a great time. I'm planning a fun jewelry repurposing party with a couple of my friends this winter, and so I've been stocking up on items that we can repurpose and turn into new unique jewelry pieces. And these beautiful teal painted wooden earrings are gonna be perfect for that. You know I like extra, and I think I'm gonna make these even extra dramatic. So far the pricing is looking really good. These pottery pieces are only three and four dollars and back home at Goodwill, these would probably be priced at about $5.99 or $6.99. These are fun, little birds. These are kind of fun too. These doggies are cute. I'm really into this tray right here. Seven dollars. It's a dance piece. Like this okay. and these earrings. Yeah. Good finds for the first Gorgeous. stop. Yeah, this is a dance yeah. one. Yeah, isn't that I think I might trade that out with the one I have at home. Oh, lovely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I spotted this cool clock. It is from 1982 and it says Tokyo on the front and it's only $10. It's a nice heavy metal. I'm not sure if it works, but I think it's a really unique clock and I'm not sure the history on this one. I'm gonna have to do some digging online to see if I can find out more about this citizen clock. With my outfit. It's oh, perfect, perfect for white, today. Yeah, like the white roses one. Yes, you yeah. must have just put this out. I did, I well, had to put out a whole bunch of new stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Day, that's okay. no, she that's bought okay. so much. <laughs> yeah. We're both in love with this dresser. It's two fifty, and Tiffany pointed out that each drawer has a keyhole. That's a steal. The two. Yeah, I just love that. It's got the darker contrast with the knobs. Super cute. I'd love to style this baby up. Look, how wild is this? It's from Seattle, though. It's got Seahawks on there. <laughs> That's fun. For our next stop, Tiffany is taking me to Goodwill. And you know that I love to see Goodwills in different states because every state and every region has completely different Goodwills. We've got some good Goodwills in the Pacific Northwest, but I've heard some really great things about the Las Vegas Goodwills too. They're not vintage, but they're gorgeous. Wouldn't these be fun to use on like an yes, outdoor patio? They are so you. You could put vases in them or even like glass like that one for candles. Uh-huh. $5.99. That's tempting. That could be really pretty. Yeah, that one's kind of jacked up a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, it's just a... Oh, wait. It does come out though, right? Yes. 
It almost looks like it's separate panes though because of the way the wire is. Yeah. I like that they're different. You know what though? I'm gonna pass. That one's pretty messed up at the bottom and I'll never fix it, let's be real. Yeah. <laughs> what are these? This is interesting. What is that? A tequila bottle? That's what I'm thinking because it's got the little symbol right there. Yeah. It's a really pretty tequila bottle. Those would be great candle holders. Yes, Look, it's like would. the exact size for a candle. Oh, perfect. Repurposing tequila bottles. Definitely. <laughs> this should be a thing. I have a really similar one, but it's more of a sandstone. What is that say on the bottom? Nothing on the bottom. How much is this? $4.99. What do you think? I love it. Should I get it? I think so. You know I love the shape on things. And this one's yes. unique because it has this painting here. It's beautiful. $4.99. Mm -hmm. I've got plenty of room. I got a giant suitcase and I only have two items so far. Maybe we should have got a cart. <laughs> well, you know what? Watch this. Doubles as a price. That works. What do you think of this? I'm not going to get it because it's not, the colors just aren't quite my palette, but it looks familiar. It almost looks like a woven, you know, that sort of fired paint. Yes. Look. It's really pretty. I feel like my niece would like this. Oh, <laughs> look at this lion. He's only $9.99. I just love his look on his face. He's so regal, isn't he? Yes. He's like, it's almost like the Lion King. I yes. am your leader. I am your leader. I think that would be so fun in a kid's, like, library. You could have, like, a Narnia theme almost and have the lion. That'd be so gorgeous. No, I'm not right. I'm not sure, but I think you need to get it. It's only ten dollars, you guys. Ten dollars. Oh, How much furniture do you typically get? Not very much. Not much. Because I don't really have, you know, I don't have a baby. Yeah. But I'm getting the space, so I think I need to get it. I think you need to get it for ten dollars. Don't go shopping with me if you don't want to buy things. I am quite the enabler, and I encourage Tiffany to get all three of the antique furniture pieces. This antique grandfather clock is so amazing. We looked these up online while we were in the store, and there was one for several thousand dollars online. So hopefully this one works, and Tiffany does really well selling this, and she can help it find its forever home. So I guess maybe do go shopping with me if you want someone to be your wing woman and be like, yes, get it. And if I keep doing good, guess what I'm buying? Another one of those, another one of those. I'm packing them with treasures. She's getting the lion. Getting the lion. <laughs> Now this antique mall is massive. They have hundreds of vendors and little did we know when we walked in those doors that we would be spending the rest of our day here. I've already started a pile. I'm number 16. We were just telling the ladies that they're gonna get to know us because we're gonna be adding to it. <laughs> this is so funny. What is this mug? San Francisco, Taylor. Look at the little kitties. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. $14, $19.84. Cute. Look at this beautiful jacket. I love this so much. That is so cute. I wish this would fit me. It's like a very extra small or maybe a child size, but it's so cute. This is a very fun bag. We need to look at this. I was noticing a lot of incredible designer bags in the windows as we were shopping. Well, we weren't shopping. We were just window shopping on the Las Vegas Strip and there were things I would never ever purchase, but that is gorgeous. Is this a little animal? It is. Look, it's like a little fox. That's cute. We need to look at this. Okay, we have to get this. It's only $11.50. Look at that. It's like a little abstract critter. That's cute. We're gonna get that. Look. Uh, two ashtrays. We have to see how much they are. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do both of those. What? This is an abalone fish bottle opener. Look how cool oh that gosh. is. 
$58. I have like five bottle openers, so I don't need it, but that's cool. <laughs> what on earth is this? I really like this. It says oil painting M. Chavez. I need to research this because I really, really like this. butcher block little island is amazing look at how massive it is let's see how much it is 2200 that's fantastic okay I'm never really looking at speakers normally that's Jesse's territory look these have blue fabric on them we have really good mid-century speakers the sound is amazing and we do need to recover them so this is inspiring me to possibly do some blue I'm gonna send Jesse pictures to see what he thinks For 110 it's on sale for 85 still a little too much but it is beautiful look it's the tequila bottle we just thought goodwill that's too funny now we know what was missing in the top I still think they'd make really cool candle holders This couch is incredible. I love the mirror on the very bottom of it. We are getting that lady. She's only $55 and she's carved out of wood. I love her. Ooh, this is fantastic too. It's a newer one, but we're getting her. These and these. Art Deco, 118. Those are fabulous. These are made out of pottery. What is this cute little lion? What is this? I love him. $78. Whew. He's so cute. Don't need him. <laughs> Look at this little kitty. That's funny. I fell in love with this piece of art the second that I saw it. I could not quite read the signature, and so I sent a text message to my friend Deb back in Portland, who has a vintage store called Fabius Grange, and she is so incredibly knowledgeable about art. She was able to help me identify it, and this piece was done by Greta Lobel Schreyer. She was an Austrian-American Jewish jewelry designer and painter who survived the Holocaust and later lived in New York City. 
I found a different still life piece that had a bunch of bottles on it, currently for sale for $690. The painting was only $75, and the best part is that Charleston Antiques offers shipping to their customers. So I was able to ship this home for under $18, making my total cost coming in at under $100. I'm not gonna be able to sell this one anytime soon, but when I do, it looks like I should be able to make a profit of between $400 and $600. place is so big I lost Tiffany for the last like half an hour I'm doing laps I have no idea where she is oh there's so much good stuff so much good stuff look at these cups amazing in the chair all right let's go find Tiffany I don't even know if I went down this aisle now that I'm thinking about it stuff is not looking familiar oh my goodness I just found the matching coin purse to my handbag that I have I am so excited it's $15.75 I think originally I paid about $20 for the purse but it matches and the odds of finding something from the 70s that matches I'm getting it for sure so glad I got lost because I did not come down this aisle so we have some good luck on our side today. I keep finding this fondue pot, but usually I see it in black. That's funny, I've never seen it in the orange. Haven't found any Catherine Holmes here yet though. There she is. <laughs> I got lost trying to find you and then look what I found. Yes, and I thought this is Laura. Oh, it's beautiful. This is a great space over here. This matches a vintage handbag that I already own. And now I'm gonna have the handbag and the coin oh, purse fantastic. for $15.75. Isn't that cute? How serendipitous. <laughs> so a lot of people pointed out that my wooden bird piece might actually have come from a clock. And I think that they were all completely correct. Check it out. obsessed with this pendant. It's got these beautiful brass elk or deer and I don't love the rest of it but it's only $16.50 so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get it and rework it to make it something that I would wear. I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. When Jesse and I decided that we were going to launch our traveling abroad sourcing and picking adventures and open that up to group travel for all of you viewers, we knew that we needed a way to not only promote it, but to share it with all of you and make it as easy as possible for you to find the information that you're looking for in case you were interested in coming on one of our trips. You all know how much I love Squarespace. I've been using them as our website host for over eight years and it was really exciting to finally have that dream come true to be able to add a travel tab to our website. Squarespace makes it so incredibly easy to customize your website and design it to be exactly what you need. So whether you are going to be hosting traveling trips or maybe you're launching your very first blog or most likely, since a lot of us have this in common, you want to sell your own vintage finds on your own independent website. Squarespace has got you covered. Head to squarespace.com to start your free trial today Today, and when you are ready to launch your website, head to squarespace.com slash left coast for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Vase has so much good pottery. Look at this beautiful Italian vase. It's gorgeous. I don't think I'm going to actually. You can have it if you want it. Twenty-eight dollars. Get it. Get it.
Cue the music. <laughs> Even in Las Vegas. Today was magic. It was so fun. I love her so much. She's just like she appears in her videos. <laughs> so are you, so are you. <laughs> we had a really good time. It was not long enough. We found some great treasures. Yeah, we didn't eat anything. We didn't drink anything except for a cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, we just thrifted our little hearts out. And we're happy and we're gonna have to do this again. Yeah. Are you gonna eat before the zip line? I'm gonna eat, with, well, should I eat after the zip line so I don't throw <laughs> up on people? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm excited to go zip lining. So Jesse and I are going to downtown tonight and we're gonna go zip lining over all the people. It's gonna be so great. fun. Vegas is fun. Come this on has down. Been amazing. Yeah, there might be talk about getting together again, maybe hosting a trip down here. So drop a comment if you want us to host a trip here in Las Vegas. I'll see all of you in a new episode soon. Bye. I scored some really sweet treasures in Las Vegas. I feel like it's a little bit fitting that I found so many ladies. <laughs> you know, I love my naked ladies and I found some really good ones. This is a beautiful hand carved piece. It is signed Solomon. And I actually haven't even done research yet on this piece. So hopefully I will pop in some information by the time I get around to editing this and I will have learned a little bit more. I know I have seen another carved wood piece, I believe with a lady that had that signature on it. So I'll do some research on that. And then this is actually a copy of of a very famous painting. I call it fan art. I don't know the technical term. This is a vintage piece though. And it was done by M. Chavez. I believe the back had his full name. Yeah, Miguel Chavez, painted by Miguel Chavez. And I just thought it was a very, very good copy of this famous painting. It was really well framed, even though it's a little bit rustic. I thought that was a really cool piece, so had to get it. Can you believe that I found the matching coin purse to my little vintage bag? I mean, technically that one has flowers, although I think this has some flowers on it too. They might not be the exact same brand, but you know what? I love them. This is one of my favorite purses. I've had it for a long time and it's just a fun little handbag that I use when I'm going out on a date. I don't use this for my picking days because it doesn't have a ton of room, but I love that I now have the little matching coin purse for it. And I got some Rimini Blue Batosi ashtrays. Now we are not smokers, but that doesn't mean that we do not have a purpose for ashtrays. We are probably going Going to be using these for change or jewelry. I think I'm going to even put one on our coffee table and I don't know what I'm going to put in it, but maybe I'll put a lighter in it or candies. There's so many different things that you can use these for. And I just don't find these in person very often. So if I feel like it's a good enough deal, even if it's around two thirds of a regular retail price, if I'm buying it for myself and I'm supporting a vintage dealer and I'm supporting a vintage mom, possibly even a thrift store with a nonprofit charity that it originally was found at that makes me feel good about my purchase and my investment that's what I love about vintage is typically you're supporting multiple people throughout the process so these are going to our Batosi collection and I got some amazing jewelry so I am not much of a gambler but I discovered while I was in Las Vegas that I like the game roulette I had never even paid attention to it before but a friend was playing it and the longer I watched the more I realized oh this is what they're doing and it started making sense. So I decided to play some roulette and I won a little bit of money and these babies are my Las Vegas souvenir that I bought with my winnings from roulette. I was a little worried that they were going to be so heavy because of all the amazing intricate sterling work but I wore them all day and they did not hurt my ears so I'm super excited. These are going to go into my forever collection for sure. When I got these Christy Davis earrings, look they got little articulating lizards. I love critters especially in jewelry so those were really fun find and then I got these at a little thrift store and they were only a few dollars and they were just painted wood but I thought the color on them was really 
really pretty. And I'm gonna add these to my little stash because I'm gonna be doing some jewelry repurposing here when we get into the winter months and I kind of hibernate a little bit more and actually stay home maybe for more than a week at a time. And I thought that these would be fun to make even more dramatic. So what my plan is, is to actually add more colors and more things to make them longer. They're nice and lightweight already, so I feel like I can add a little bit more to make them more dramatic. So those are going to my jewelry repurposing stash. And then this is a fun little Kate Hines cast metal critter. I think it's a fox or a dog, I don't know. I just thought he was adorable. Hangs this way as a necklace. I thought that was a really fun one. And then I love, love, love this one with the stags. As you can see, I like to buy animals and jewelry. These two beautiful stags are elk. I'm not sure what they are, but they are amazing. And I don't love the rest of the necklace. There are some really pretty beads in here, but overall it just feels really chunky and it kind of takes away from this. I almost didn't even realize that it had the stags when I was looking at it because your eyes are kind of drawn to these big chunky beads. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to possibly find a different pendant that I think goes really well with those beads for that necklace. And then I am actually going to use a minimal brass necklace. Hopefully I can find something maybe art deco or just something that has that old brass look to it to redesign this pendant. I feel like you want this to be the statement. When you kind of hide that, look how it kind of just pops more. It gets lost in it, doesn't it? So I got to get working on these two and they won't be in the November sale, but I'm hoping to have both of those redesigned and done and I will have them in the December first Friday sale. Some pretty bohemian fringe earrings. And then I got this for Little Italy because I never find clay wind chimes. Jesse and I both prefer the sound of either clay or wooden wind chimes over the sound of metal. And I think that this is gonna be great up there. I'm probably gonna display it in the breezeway for now just so that we can enjoy it. And it's all handmade. There's little stamps all over in it. I don't know where it was originally made, but it looks very similar to a lot of the Mexican pottery pieces that I find. So I think it's probably from Mexico. Absolutely love it. Was super excited to find it. I think this was only $15. And then funny enough, I found another one of these. Look, I got one right there. <laughs> I'm gonna be selling this one because I love the texture on that one a little bit more for my own home. This has got some beautiful painted detail on there. It's got the original cork. These are the most beautiful decanters. And I got it at Goodwill for $4.99. Can you believe it? See, I'll show you how similar it is. It's like almost identical. It's really close. I love the sandstone look of this one, so that's why I'm keeping that. This one's kind of glossy. I try not to mix too many glossy things together, and this is already more than I typically use. I've got the Bitosi over here, and then I've got my Catherine Holm Fondue pot, and they're both kind of shiny. So I like that this kind of balances that out. But yeah, this beauty is gonna be coming to my next sale. That'll be in the November sale for sure. Gotta have a moment for her. I love her. So I have ADHD and I'm a very active person, but I also meditate a lot and I definitely need my alone time. I think I'm secretly an introvert, even though I act like an extrovert. And when I saw this, it just reminded me of, <sighs> take a moment, calm down <laughs> and just relax and breathe. And so I just, I really like her. I might put her in the breezeway because I do meditate out there sometimes and I do a lot of quiet time out there watching the birds. And so I kind of feel like I want this as a reminder to just take a moment, <laughs> take a breath and take it all in. Anyway, she's special. Sorry, I had to get all serious there for a minute. But let's get back to the exciting version of me. <laughs> so this is a fantastic find. I got this for $7 at a thrift store. This is a Dansk piece and it is a stunning teak tray. I'm super excited about it. These sell online for well over $150 and I got it for $7. So I'm gonna give it a wood oiling and then we are gonna style this up on the coffee table. She is amazing, is she not? Look at her. I love this vase so much. So I actually got really excited when I first saw this on the Goodwill shelf because I thought that it was A-K-I-O. I'm dyslexic too, so sometimes I see things that aren't there. And I knew that that was a pottery stamp from an artist and his pieces are very valuable. He's a Japanese artist. So I did a double take and then I realized that it said A-I-K-O. So it's not one of his pieces, but it is a very special piece and I really, really love her. 
I've never seen something quite like this before. It has a very Polynesian feel to me. I would love to know if any of you guys recognize this, whether you recognize the art or the signature, I would be super happy and grateful if anybody could give me any pointers in the right direction. It was $7.99. Oh, so excited. Love her. I don't think I'm going to be selling her. I think I'm going to be keeping some of this lady art at least for a little bit so that I can decorate and style with it. And then I will decide what I'm going to do there. Very thrilled with my Las Vegas finds. I'm not going to lie. I had no idea what to expect. And Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas took me out and we had a great time shopping together. I could have shopped with her for a few more days easily because I feel like I just scratched the very surface of Las Vegas. So I might have to do another trip there soon. I found two more things that were in my husband's luggage. I forgot that I had him sneak a couple in his. I got these candle holders at the antique mall and then I got this amazing clock at the very first thrift store we went to for only $10. I haven't been able to find out much information on it. It says IOM Tokyo 1982, but I haven't spent a lot of time researching it yet. So I'm gonna look that up. And I think that this is gonna be a fun one to decorate with. I'm working on a gallery wall episode and I'm trying to have a nice variety of different types of clocks, not just my favorite mid-century starburst clocks. So this will be a fun one to decorate with. And it was only $10. Las Vegas was amazing. I feel like one day was not even close to enough to scratch the surface of the thrift stores and antique stores in the area. I had so much fun with Tiffany and I hope that you did too. It was really fun getting to go and thrift in another city with someone else who already knows that city. Tiffany took me to some great spots and I am really looking forward to getting back to Las Vegas, hopefully very soon. We even talked about how fun it would be to host a meetup and possibly even a picking trip in Las Vegas. So let me know in the comments below if that is something that you would be interested in coming and joining in on. I already know we would have a blast shopping, so I'd love to hear your thoughts on whether Las Vegas would be a good central location to do it. Thank you for joining us in Las Vegas for this fun episode, and I will see all of you in a brand new adventure soon. Bye.